Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a door slash part open when a player is in a specific range. Just before the video begins, I would just like to say 92.2% of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to go click back on Home and you want to insert your part. You can use any part you want. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a simple base part like this, and we're going to be kind of making it into a door sort of thing, something like that. But feel free to customize it however you like. Change the color, change the material. Yeah, really customize it however you like. But once you've done that, you now want to go over here and click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script into the part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio and remove the old code and paste it in here. So now that you've inserted the code into the script, we are able to change a couple of things here. So up here on line two, where it says local range equals 10, this now determines how far away a player can be for the part transparency and the can collide settings to be changed. This is measured in studs. If you don't know what studs are, studs are really the measurement in Roblox Studio. For example here, I'll show you how much uh, 10 uh, studs, sorry, what was it? Five studs or 10 studs? 10 studs. I'll show you how far 10 studs is now. But basically what this means, so if someone is in with a within a 10 stud, stud radius, the part tr transparency will be set to one and the can collide will be disabled, meaning they can walk through it and, and it's kind of just an open door, open wall. As you guys can see, so now this is how far 10 studs is. Okay, so if a player is in within this area, this part will disappear. So now let's go and remove that and let's go and adjust a couple more things. So you feel free to change the range on this. This is just the standard range that I just showed you. And then down here on line five where it says weight um, and then the brackets and then 0.01. This basically is the wait time and how often the system checks if a player is within the radius area. I don't really suggest changing this. If you want the system to only check every one second if a player is in the radius, that's up to you. But I, I highly suggest kind of leave it on here so it can be, so as soon as a player walks into the radius, the part disappears and they're able to walk through it and stuff like that. Okay, and then on here on line, is that 10, your line 10? This basically sets if a player is in the in, is in the radius the part transparency and our part is the script dot parent dot the transparency if, a, if if there's a person the transparency will be set to one basically meaning it is invisible as you guys can see the transparency is currently zero but if a player is detected it will be set to one basically making it invisible it also does to the part dot can collide this basically means now if there is a player the can collide is disabled and on default, the can collide is enabled, basically meaning we cannot walk through it. But if a player is detected, the can collide uh, gets unticked and becomes false. But this is just here in case there is any errors, which just makes sure um, if there is any errors that the tr transparency stays at zero and that the can collide equals true. By the way, please make sure your part is anchored. But once you've finished everything here and made sure your part is anchored, you want to go up here and click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And if we are in a 10 stud radius, as you guys can see, the part will disappear. And as soon as we step out of the 10 stud radius, the part will reappear. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it. If you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.